Hey everybody, I'm Recycled, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 VR Modded Survival. And now we resume with our conquest of the Galactic Zone and helping the Hobologists. Ow. Death Skull Rad Scorpions. There's quite a big fight happening over here. What are you doing? One, 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 one. Guess we got poison. Oh, these are uh, our guys. <laughs> Some of these ghouls died. Legendary ant? No, just glowing. Stop it. Oh, he was shooting at ants? Okay, good thing I have explosive weapons. Makes it much easier to kill those things. Yeah, speaking of health, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. So once you're ghoulish, you can use these irradiated bloods just like a regular uh, blood pack. Hmm, I guess I'll take a stem pack. Or pretty bad. Much better. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go in here and clear out all the bad guys. And there are a bunch of them. Like this robot. That robot. These mole rats. This robot. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter if Tula dies. But it makes me a little sad. Yeah, they go in this cave here. And it's radioactive. And there's this cricket. Ash pile, activate. Uh, doesn't do anything. Alright. There's ants. And there's a sentry bot. A legendary Annihilator Super Duper Sentry Bot. Wow. <laughs> Instigating Missile Launcher. Does double damage if the target is at full health. Jeez. Yeah, I'll take all that. Uh, and then they just walk up here. That's basically all the enemies. So I guess I'll quick save the game. Because I can do that. And then I will tell them that the place is clear. Or that I have cleared it if I can. Oh yeah, and there could be some bad guys in here too. That robot. This robot if it gets uh, released. And this turret. But once they're all dead, then it should be safe. Here's scav issue number two. Nice. Plus 25% combat knife and switchblade damage. Nice. Although really there are better weapons than combat knives and switchblades. Fun fact, the weapon you get from Pikmin, Pikmin's blade, it's a combat knife. So I think it's safe. We'll go talk to Dora again and steal all their hubs. Have you changed your mind about helping us capture the spaceship? I already cleared the junkyard. You can just walk in. Amazing! You truly were sent by the hub. Let's go tell the others. Everyone gather! Form the wheel! I, I am the Rim. Rim. The, the spokesman of the hub will support me. The time has come. The hub's grand plan can enter its next important phase. All of your hard work has borne fruit. Our new friend has liberated the junkyard. It is time for us to take control of it. But first, here are the spacesuits I've promised you. They may be a bit snug at first, but they'll protect you. 
So everyone runs over to the junkyard and hopefully doesn't die on the way. All of them are essential except for uh, Tula. And I don't see her. <laughs> uh oh, someone's taking damage. Well, whatever. Ah, more enemies. Ugh. Fucking legendary worms and stuff. Well, pack waster died. A bunch of packs died. They're taking damage from the radiation, I guess. So you don't have to go in there. I'm sure you can get up here. And eventually everyone should show up. Form the wheel. I am the hub. And it seems like Tula died. Oh well. Oh no, she didn't. Okay. This person only has one hit point. So still missing one. Oh, is it that guy who was trying to talk to me? That's a problem. Well, let's save since uh, nothing bad happened. Oh, here he is. <laughs> he got I hurt. The cleansed. We fought a great battle today. A battle we could not have won without our friend. But our work is not done yet. Taking the spaceship is not enough. It must be made to fly again. It must be ready to take us to our destiny. Soon you will earn the greatest reward Habology has to offer. For now, rest and celebrate. You have earned it. So now they all go to the warehouse. Hi, what a glorious battle. You were magnificent. I promised you a payment. This gun was passed down from the hub himself. Take great care with it. Um, there is a super mutant. Here's the alien blaster. It's basically just an alien blaster. I need your help for one. Where is the super mutant? You can tell me. There. What a glorious battle. You were magnificent. I promised you a Are you going to give me another gun? Where is the super mutant? Legendary Super Mutant. Warlord. Leave my people alone. <laughs> I was chasing a gazelle. Bolstered. Uh, I'll grab it. Here's a super sledge that we couldn't sell. Now I'm overweight. Oh, I guess you have to carry this cutting fluid around, even though it's heavy. Well, anyway, they should have uh, relocated to the um, warehouse. Where's Dara? Uh, Dara's going to tell us to um, put fusion cores in here. And you can put four of them, but you're only supposed to put three. And it actually tells you that. But so let's do it. Let's not put a fourth one. Let's find Dara wherever she went. She's probably in the warehouse. No. Do they go all the way back? Here's one of them. Here's most of them. I'd like to stop getting radiated. So they're all relocating to the warehouse. Oh, here she is. Can we talk <laughs> somewhere not radioactive? I, promise. I don't want to stand here. Yeah, she's taking damage. <laughs> this place is okay. I need your help for one last thing. I need to get that spaceship powered up again. But we don't have any fusion cores. I have some extra ammo for the hub's gun that I can give you if you succeed. I'll be glad to help. Good. Once you get it powered up, we can work on making it space-worthy. We did it, right? Hi. We are forever in your debt. Without you, we would not be on the path to redemption. The path of our destiny. Um, I already did it. Hey there. I, I did it. I guess she has to reach her, uh, place. So what does my quest log say? I don't think it says anything. Oh, okay. Install a power distributor. Talk to Dara. A power distributor. Where do I get a power distributor? Is it pointing at the spaceship? I forgot that part. 
The power distributor is missing. Well, I know that. Dara, are you gonna tell me how to do this? Because I forgot. She's broken. Well, granted, Exciting. the power distributor is missing. Um, forget exactly where it's from. Take this thing. And uh, if she's broken, then we can just fix her with a quest set, set stage or something. Do that. And we did it. Okay, now we have to talk to Dara. Oh, and she's gonna come here because the quest marker is here. You magically know that uh, we did it and that now you're on your way. Well, they're not in here. Oh, there she is. The lights! It's amazing! You've done it! Into the spaceship, everyone! Great camera angle. We need to run a test of the system. Come inside with us and turn it on. You'll see that the hub's prophecy is true. Yep. <laughs> so they've all gone inside. Well, most of them. Everybody walks so slowly, like, they're not getting tired or parched or hungry. All right. Play, so turn it on. By the hub, it's working. Visions. I'm seeing visions. Ugh. I think I'm going to puke. Worked. We couldn't have done it without you. Here is the ammo I promised you, as thanks for helping us to advance the Hub's grand plan. We have a few months of work to do to prepare for our journey. Maybe more. Oh, but the real prize is that she took those things out of our inventory. So now we don't have those spacesuits. I am really heavy. Yeah, I guess I'm carrying a bunch of legendaries. I want to finish this episode. So, we have to get the, um, we have to clear out the Galactic Zone, man. And to do it in one episode, I guess we're just going to have to run into all the places, get all the, uh, star cores, and, uh, and kill everything. And, uh, I just won't worry about the junk. Hey, a level. So we can get even more ghoulish. So one more level and we'll have the final level of ghoulish and radiation will practically not be a problem at all anymore. We'll still have to eat and drink, of course, because it's survival. Basically, when it comes to radiation, not much of a problem. Even in the glowing sea, we'll still get radiated. But if we just duck into a place or something, or if we have armor that increases our radiation resistance, even slightly, then uh, we'll be fine. So let's pop into all the locations in, uh, in the galactic zone. Star control is huge, but let's do it. I mean, Nuka Galaxy. <laughs> Nuka Galaxy is huge. There's a special outfit you can take. Nuka Girl's rocket suit. Star core, because we came in the back entrance. And we have the key so we can open this door. Star core. Stop that. Another key. And another star core. There's a ton of enemies in here. You're 
dead. Parkour. Wake up. Time to fight. Ooh. Really tough robot. Star core. The space century. Didn't kill any of the turrets. I had to kill everything myself. Unlock it, but it's empty. Well, I'll get some XP, so okay. Yes. So I'm gonna explode. Oh hell. Tucked away in these boxes by this staircase near um the planetscape set is a minigun. A great weapon if you're strong enough to carry it in survival. So many things to kill. Gutsy out there. Start core. Find the Star Core's Nuka Galaxy. There's one more in here. And it's about 50 meters in this direction. 30 meters, 25 meters, 24 meters in this direction, and down. Well, we can extend this bridge finally. But it seems like we have to go down there. Walked right past it. So now we can get out of here. Find Star Core's outside the Galactic Zone. Find Star Core's in the Galactic Zone grounds. Well, I know there's one in Star Control that you can only get. Once it's powered up, I think there's one extra somewhere, but I want these uh, markers to go away, so I'll start putting these, uh, installing these. So that's 14 of them, and I'll just run around like crazy, collecting the rest. Hello? Have them wander back here. Yeah, the battle zone. Gotta do the battle zone and the theater. Welcome to the Robco Battle Zone. Please find a seat. Our next show begins in just five minutes. You're not gonna explode. Hey, you exploded. <laughs> so if you blow off their arms, then they uh, they go into destruction mode. And apparently, if they happen to lose their arms before dying, then they go into destruction mode. Warning, dangerous fugitives. Are these legendaries? The yeah, I can't Do carry much more stuff. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, hey, a level. Nice. Yeah, actually, I'm so heavy right now. I need to go drop off these legendaries or something. So I guess I will be right back. And there's two places you can use as a home base. You can use Fist Top Mountain, of course. We'll take that level. Yeah, it's the final level of Ghoulish. <laughs> Please. So now Another radiation is a non-issue. Oh man, I wasn't wearing my armor. I wonder I was taking so much damage. We'll sleep on this dirty mattress. But I think because it's raised off the ground, it's not dirty. Yeah, it's not dirty. Nope, it's dirty. I don't know. 
but we can sleep on it. But we got sick. We'll head back in. Yes. Nuka Ray. Star Core. There's five of them in here. Or, uh, six of them? There's a key. Oh, that goes outside. I didn't want to do that. Nope, and go inside. Hey, look, water fountains. It's, uh, radioactive, actually, but it doesn't make you sick. Star Core. And another key. And another Star Core. So, it looks like there's three of them in the chamber. So we'll head in there. Oh, don't want to go in there yet. Yeah, here's this guy. And, uh, he also explodes and makes a big mess, but there's no helping it, I guess. Die. Possible Hell. stealth unit in the AO. <laughs> I'm sorry, did that wake you up? Scanning. Die. Damn, warmongering humans. Don't explode. Advanced. Oh, but I want the stuff. <laughs> but I can't get it. There's radiation here, but we don't care. Star core. So the other two, of course, are in the chamber, which we will enter. Oh, yeah. So now we can drink the uh, radioactive water from the world. Um, if it's in a puddle, it can still make us sick. But like if we find these, uh, well, I thought I saw water fountains. So it would have been a good example. But um, yeah, we can drink water fountain water. That won't make us sick. Yeah, let's head inside here. Ladies and gentlemen. Final two star cores. For incredible action. Though we can't leave. Are you ready for thrilling battle? Are you ready to see the latest robots fight it out in the ultimate showcase? Then it's time for the Robco Battle Zone! Now entering the ring. Robco's Galactrons, with their cutting-edge laser technology, watch as the Galactrons make short work of these iBots. Made a bigger gun. What a show! Can anything challenge the Skeet Galactron? Shooting. Get ready to find out. It's time for a head-to-head matchup with the mighty Novatron. Unidentified. Do not make any further That barely hurt me. <laughs> Incredible. Do you want more? Well, we'll give you more. Here they come. Two state of the art Novatrons. Ambush. And now, the fight you've all been waiting for. The ultimate in high-end robotic engineering. The one. The only. Rocko Space Entry! I think that's all of them. What a fight! What a fight! We hope you enjoyed the show. Please exit through the doors on the lower level. Don't forget to stop by the Robco gift shop to pick up your very own souvenir from today's fight. Oh, I love Thank the little miniature robots. The Robco Battle Zone. It's always thought to go to the theater. Starlight Interstellar Theater. Approach and identify yourself. Threat All abiding citizens will not be harmed. Oh my god. Continue resistance. Stop it. Yeah, because we got Life Giver 3 and uh, Ghoulish 4. Deadly we basically regenerate all our health all the time now. Is attempting to so we're not invincible. But 
basically no matter how badly we get hurt um you know between battles and stuff we just regenerate our health completely uh, even if we're radiated or anything the radiation goes away and our health comes back star core you will be plungers. identified and sanctioned I'll sanction you. There's a ton of junk in here. Star core. There he goes. Oh, we can't hurt each other because the ground is uh, solid. Core. Yeah, if I ever get thirsty, I guess I'll be drinking the Nuka Colas. They have a chance to make you sick. Got him. Got to go in the projection booth. Die already. Star Core. So I think that just leaves the Star Core is laying around in places, not inside interiors. And nice. Scav number one. Increased speech challenge success, but I'm a cheater, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Identify yourself. All abiding citizens will not be harmed. Legendary. <laughs> Take a long time to explode sometimes. It's like a script has to run. Bolstered. Seeing a bunch of those. Yeah, we're so radiation resistant. Even if uh, we get really radiated, it's like it just goes away. It doesn't even matter. Here's a star core. Here's a star core at the top of the drop tower. There's a few of them outside the galactic zone. Yeah, actually, some of these they're inside other uh, places we'll be visiting in other videos. We missed one in the warehouse somehow. Yeah, right here. And there's one in the market. One inside the nuke cade. One in dry rock gulch. And one in the bottling plant. So I'll just drop these off in the Galactic Zone, uh, Star Chamber or whatever it's called. So I know there's one of them that's inaccessible until you turn on the power. But I think that we have enough Star Cores to just take this place over. And we can get the rest of them whenever... Well, whenever. So let's install the Star Cores. And because we found at least 20 of them... We can disable the defensive mode and any remaining robots will become docile. And we can't open the display case yet, but that's okay. We'll do it later. So we can assign a gang. And I choose the operators. So that's done. Your gang will secure the zone. Uh, whatever that means. <laughs> I mean, I guess enemies maybe can spawn or something, but basically, yeah. So that makes that gang like you more when you assign them to a zone. And as we... Unlock more zones, we'll assign more gangs until all the zones are assigned, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. So, cutting it here. If you've been watching, thanks, and I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully in VR, uh, we'll see how it goes. Bye-bye.